You are all welcome in this video. In this video, we will learn mapping of the places around us today. Some children were talking about the layout of the class. How good will it be if the carpets of the classroom are put in such a way that a blank space is created in the classroom? The class will be open and clean. Can there be a space to put books in the corner of the classroom? A corner for holding games, puzzles and board games can also be made. That's when teachers come to class. Hello kids. Guess who has come to meet you today? This is Sri Krishna Kumar. He's an architect. He will help you make your class more tailored to you. Kids, I will help you map your class. For this, we will first find the length, width and height of the class and each item kept in the class. With the help of these measurements, we will create a map from which we can estimate the location of the objects and the distance between them. This is because this map will be made according to a scale in which we will show distances by lines. To do this, we need the length and width of the floor and height of the room. To make a class map, we have to first set the scale. What is a scale? Scale. Writing down the actual distances in a ratio is called the scale for a map. The area of India is millions of square kilometers. In the map of India, millions of square kilometers are shown with the help of centimeters. Let's understand some important things related to scale. The same scale is applied to every length and width in the map. The scale helps to reduce the actual distance proportionally. If you pay attention to the given map, you will see that 1 cm has been used here for 500 cm. Let me tell you some more things related to the map. Colors are used to show object clearly in the map. A color is used to represent the objects of a group. We have all seen maps of India, the world and other countries. With what color can we depict the sea, river, pond etc? Water is shown in blue color. The ground is mostly shown in green color and different colors are used to indicate different features. Children, hope that you have understood the essential things related to the map. So why not try make a map for your class now? We have also shown many things in the class map. If we highlight them using colors, the information in the map will become more clear. Come, let's see what your map looks like after coloring. You can easily plan your class better by adapting the changes made in this map according to this class. Similarly, maps of roads, provinces, cities, countries are also used for planning and management. I hope that you have understood the method of map making and its nuances. See you. Bye. In this video, we learned to mapping of the places around us. In the next video, we will see some examples based on this.